What's up my Pugnios, Andy with Tech Influence here. Excited to finally go over the aluminum rig cage here for your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. This is from the folks at Newer, but I'm excited here finally I got my hands on the cage here for the Samsung because this was on back order for some time. What's great here is it's made out of high quality aluminum anodized metal here that's manufactured and tooled with great precision. What's nice here is you have three different face plates to be able to accessorize the newer lenses that have recently come out, but you also have an option for a 67 inch filter mount as well as the T-Series Moment mount. As you can see, it is really awesome with a couple of cold shoe mounts, the ability to attach a quarter 20 grip, whether you're using the newer or some other one, and it has a bunch of quarter 20 mounts to attach to tripods. It's sleek in the hand, it looks really nice and robust. With that said, I did purchase this with my own money. Newer did not send this to me complimentary. I'll have the links down below for all the products here that we go over and demonstrate as well. This video is sponsored, however, from our channel sponsor, Private Internet Access. Protecting your phone is super important physically, especially having it in a rig, but protecting more importantly, your digital footprint is even more important. As a compliance analyst, securing your data and your browsing is super important from unwanted spying. A VPN is perfect for that. More on that at the end of the video. With that said, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this for you, show it in studio, and then I'm gonna go on location and show off some of the lenses here that you can opt into with this awesome rig. Newer makes the unboxing experience very clean. I, don't, I like how there isn't too much frivility here. It's just the rig and that's what you're getting. The product certainly speaks for itself. I like how it's wrapped up here. You've got all three mounts as well as the rig itself, which we will demonstrate here. The case itself is really high quality brushed aluminum metal. As you can see, it is nice and chamfered and rounded. There isn't a sharp edge here. And I think they've done a great job tooling and manufacturing this. It's made out of multiple parts screwed in here with these screws. You can see the face plate that it's adhered here. There is the joint for the opening which is a nice satisfying click around the edges you've got for these nice silicone buttons and power button you even have the grooves here for their new quick release as well as those quarter 20 mounts here for most accessories you've got these this nice cold shoe mount with this little depression button that's going to provide you that press fit the bottom side you even have a little you have a lip here for the s pen you even have a little groove if you want to have a wrist strap or tassel and then you have access to all the IO, which is nice, and even a quarter 20 here on the bottom. Coming around the back side here, you've got more mounts, cold shoe mount on the top, as well as another mount here for your quick grip, and then obviously the other cold shoe mount here. So in total, you've got three, which is really nice. The faceplate itself is flush, as you can see there, meaning that the camera bumps are not going to extend past it. So if it lands on its face, and then you even have the grooves here for each one of the lenses. And then lastly here on the inside, you do have silicone as a guide rail here to be able to provide you that protection and a nice microfiber material here on the back side to give you that additional insulation. Sliding the phone down, it's nice and easy. On the iPhone, I had an issue. I could push on the front here and it would clip right off, but it doesn't look like it does, but there is a little bit move of movement before you cinch it and tighten it into place. And once you do, it snaps and that is nice and secured. There's a little bit of clearance here on the front. I do have a screen protector, so it does kind of go flush, which is, which is reasonable. But my worry here is that it's gonna scratch its face, but it doesn't look like it is. You've got this camera array that goes all the way down to the bottom lens and uh, the entirety of the phone is open there. Kind of an interesting idea there. Let's go ahead and throw on the first face plate. This is gonna give you more of that contour. It's going to grip and press fit down. Clicking into place, this is what it's gonna look like once it is right on there. Placing on the T-Series, I have the 16 millimeter wide here. It just grips right on and twists into place. That just looks super clean in the hand. I really like that. 
It looks like it presses and fits really nicely with a minimum clearance here, and it looks really nice in the hand. If you wanted to shoot TikTok here, you do have the grooves for their grips. Now, these aren't the best grips out there, but they do kind of fit the style and vibe of it. So if you wanted to shoot TikTok, you could, and it, that looks really nice in the hand. Putting the adapter here, the, the 17 millimeter adapter for the lens, this is the 18 millimeter wide from newer. This really fits, I think, their chamfered edge and the sleek profile of the lens. It looks just like it's at home. I really like that. This is really clean. Here's what it looks like holding it landscape. If you wanted to add a second on here, you could to have kind of that pilot's feel here, flying a ship. All right, we're here on location. I've got my first mount. We're gonna show you the newer mount and lens here. We're gonna be only using the wide angle lens here for moment and also for newer. And then what I'm also gonna do is show you that really cool filter mount, the variable ND with the Fusion. We're only gonna be shooting on 4K 30 frames a second, not 8K or 4K 60, just because that gets the best video here from the lenses. Let's jump into this. Okay, we are recording through my mic now on the rig that you can see. We've got the newer 16 millimeter lens on that 17 millimeter mount with the wireless pro from Rode and it looks great. I mean, just right out of the camera, there's no focus issues. You're not getting any burning or dodging. I am gonna have some limitations here when it comes to the, the amount of zooming I can do because there's only one lens that has the threading for the mount, but I can punch in here up to three X and then you can pinch to zoom up to about five before it switches. And it still looks really good, wide angle. Obviously, if you had the telly, it would look a little bit differently. And then you can't really jump out to your 0.6x. You've got the entirety of the back of my home that's in shot, and it look, just looks great. It, you're still able to keep that really nice Samsung color palette. It's able to get the lights and darks contrast right, and then the blue just looks really magnificent. The clouds are really majestic here. You don't have too much chromatic aberration, and it still looks really good. I like that. There's a little bit of bowing at the edges of the, the lens there. But that's typical of these wide angle lenses. Showing you the focus, I'm going to be tapping to the left, subjects out of focus, the far end is in focus, and then I can tap and it just kind of lasers in. That's my biggest thing with these lenses is many times you can't, you can't keep that fidelity there, but this looks really good even in that profile. Showing you here underneath my stairs, we, can, we still have really good low light situation here. It doesn't blow out the edges back here even though it's low light. It looks great. Another observation is Samsung is great with their optical image stabilization. So as I'm walking, you can see despite having this lens, it's still able to maintain a really nice stable picture as you're walking back and forth. I like that. Running with the rig, you are seeing a little bit more of the jumbling, but Samsung is really good at keeping that really nice and secure and stabilized. You have that natural bokeh and natural focal length. It just looks really cool. I like that. Switching over to the selfie mode, this is what it looks like with the newer lens still. I think they're doing a great job. You can uh, vlog really well with this. Okay, we are on the T-Series 18 millimeter here for moment. As you can see, it looks really good. With the adapter mount, it's pretty straightforward to be able to switch over even with the phone and the rig. Showing you my backyard and my peach tree, we just pruned it here. Getting the T-Series on this rig looks really good on the Samsung. I'm really pleased with that. You can see we recently pruned this branch and it looks really good here. Still being able to maintain that depth of field despite the sun almost directly in the camera. The contrast is really nice despite it being dark. Similarly, it, it feels like there's a little bit more of a wide angle here with the T-Series. I really love how the Samsung's able to still maintain that really rich blue there in the sky while still maintaining a nice clean contrast. Looks like the sun has gone come out, so let's go ahead and shine into the sun. We're able to punch in a little bit. We have about 2X there. That's about as far as I can go before it's sw swapping to the other tele lens. Now coming back with that exposure high because of the sunlight and the light source coming back down, it's easy to be able to resume. There is a little bit of the bending here on the edges of the fence, but for the most part, I'm not seeing too much. Showing you the focus as well. We've got in the distance in focus. Now let's go ahead and tap on the subject there. Still that laser focus is so great. 
I'm really impressed. It looks really good on the T-Series. Really clean, being able to get even a punch in like that. A little bit different shot here of the plants that are coming up in the spring. Then moving into lower light situation, you don't have too much of that backdrop that's really light blown out. You're still able to keep that fidelity there, which is really nice, I like that. Arms reach, selfie shot here with the T-Series, 18 mil. And then if you want to have the sun in the shot and then kind of have you go over it, you can see it's still able to keep good, good focus and uh, adjust accordingly. Walking here, it's not too bobbly. I like that, and even if we shifted to kind of the first person shot, it's still very, very stabilized, I like that. Let's go ahead and run with it in selfie mode showing you that it looks really good and it's easy to be able to shoot like this on, on this lens mount. I added the 32 ND filter with the Fusion. This is what that looks like here. We got the sun coming out so you'll be able to shoot, bring your f-stop down and be able to get really buttery smooth footage. Now the focusing is a little bit to be desired as well as the stabilization but you still have that good field of view. Coming up closer there is a little bit of digital distortion here going on doesn't look as clean as the 4K. It's still a viable option here, being able to shoot. I really like that. The sun just peaked out. You can't really zoom. I've gone ahead and zoomed in. It's not the best looking zoom. You got a 5X zoom, but it's digital. It's fun though, being able to shoot in 8K. I will admit it is unfortunate that you can't choose 24 frames a second at this point. At the time of the video, it's only 8K 30. So if you wanted to have more cinematic like that, you could, you don't really have that option, but having a VND up to 32, or you could place an extra 32 on top of this filter mount instead of the diffusion. It looks good though, but very heavy stabilization as I'm walking around 8K. But if you wanted to vlog 8K, this is very, very viable. This is not difficult to do. Privacy and security is integral to my daily life. I actually work as a compliance officer, so having a VPN is super important to my day-to-day -day activities. A virtual private network or VPN is a great way to hide your IP address and safeguard your internet connection through encrypted tunnel. This way it shields your digital life from the eyes of those who are looking to exploit your private information. Private internet access servers is located in 91 different locations. By giving you the option to change your IP address or to choose from all 50 states, allowing you to gain access to websites and services that are not available in those locations. One private internet access subscription covers an unlimited amount of devices. This includes Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and even consoles. Use my link down below in the description, piavpn.com slash techinfluence to get yourself 83% off a two year subscription plus four months extra free. Private Internet Access is my go-to here and I recommend that you check them out as well. Thanks Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. Check out piavpn.com slash tech influence here for 83% off and four months extra your two year subscription. VPNs protect your digital footprint newer protects your physical footprint. I really think this is a game changer for your Samsung. Having a rig like this is unlike anything other that I've seen. Samsung has really been this year let down by third parties for these rigs. This is the only one that I've really seen there on the market. I think it's really, really clean and nice. I really like the newer filters here, allowing you for an any filter and diffusion, which is great or you can add any other cinema level 67 millimeter filters. I really like the newer 18 mil or the 60 mil telly that you can opt into, or if you wanted to use a third party, something like the T-SYS, you have that option. With that said, guys, this is an awesome rig. This is gonna be my go-to moving forward, especially with the summer days coming up. All the products will be down below in the links in the description. Thanks so much. Hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.